Hi guys, it's Ray from Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today I am going to attempt a galaxy pour on this 18 inch round. Um, it's eventually going to be turned into a Lazy Susan. I've got a mechanism that goes on the back and blah blah blah. So first I painted this black. And then I'm going to show you real quick on this one because I know I've got some extra epoxy mixed, so I want to be ready to use it. I took, um, this is Salty Secret from Treasures by the Sea. I took just a tiny squirt of that. Um, I'm just using a little chip brush. And... literally just going to do the flick method to add some stars. I'm just doing it over a piece of cardboard so even if I get a couple of wet ones on my base piece I don't get like a ton. So splatter them on. As many as you want, as few as you want. If you want like a heavier concentration through the middle, like a Milky Way, you can concentrate there. Um, if you get too much like that and you don't like it, you can grab a wipe or a rag and clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a baby wipe and just blot some of those little lines off. Possible. Okay, and I will let that one dry while I work on the big piece. I will show you what's next. Um, for my colors, I'm going to use the little pots of Pearl X Micas. So, I left one not mixed so far. I mixed up 160 milliliters of epoxy for this. This piece should take about four and a half ounces of epoxy total because it's 18 inches. Um, so I divided some of it out into the little cups, one for each color. It only takes a tiny little bit of color. That's all I'm gonna use. And I will mix that in. You want to mix kind of gently because if you get too aggressive, the powder will kind of poof in your face. So, all right. I will show you all of the colors quick that I'm using. I'm using Flamingo Pink Misty Lavender turquoise, spring green, sparkle gold, micro pearl for my white, and I mixed super copper and sparkling copper just for a metallic. So I'm going to set those back off to the side because the first thing I'm going to do is coat the piece with clear epoxy. Um, I'm going to double glove just so I can spread with my hand and then take one layer of glove off. Uh, for this project I am using, I'll show you one of the jugs, Premium FX Countertop Epoxy. Um, one to one ratio, the resin is the A, the hardener is the B. Evenly mix per directions. Um, if you don't mix evenly, you'll be stuck with a sticky mess. So I'm just going to dump some on. Quite a bit. It's got bubbles in it. I'm not terribly worried about those yet because I am going to apply some heat. I did mix in two separate cups, so I'm using from both cups. So neither one sits unused longer than the other. But that is enough to start. Um, the 
and I am gonna go down around the edges of this piece so I have this board blocked up on five cups I don't want it too much but I don't want too little um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more I may not have enough to do the small board but that's fine it'll be prepped for next time um, I just wanted to show you how I put the stars on the board anyways. That was the primary purpose to that. Because I really didn't mix a ton, a ton extra like I sometimes do. I'm going to try and get a light coat around the edge just so the color that flows over will have something to grab and flow with. I'm not going to worry about too much on the back side, whatever rolls down the edges. Um, I'm going to clean the back up and paint it black when I'm done. Right now it's just the raw wood. This was an 18 inch round that I picked up at Home Depot. Um, they're awesome, they're super thick, and they're a great value. Okay, that's why I double gloved. That way I can just grab them and remove them. I'm gonna go ahead and um, heat this with a torch real quick. It'll pop some of the bubbles and just warm it up. So. Not really worried about smoothing it right now, just getting some of the bubbles out and warming up just a tiny bit. Um, all epoxies like to be worked in the warm for the most part. Um, so do pay attention to your directions on that. Um, I'm gonna turn this this way, I think. So do pay attention to working temperatures and such. Um, FX Premium, Premium FX, really does like a warmer temp. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my color runs. I'm going to do a little bit thicker through the middle. Um, and again, it's okay if it runs off the side because this is kind of a 360 piece. It'll be sitting on somebody's table with all sides showing. Now I am going to have to be careful that this edge doesn't go off my table. And that, I'm going to put a little more blue through the middle, I think. Maybe a little right here. And... I'm going to go in with the Misty Lavender next, I think. I don't want to put it on that side, though. You can do however you want. You can do splotchy. You can do chunky. You don't have to keep them in, in order. You don't have to do a full run of any specific color. However works for you. I'm going to grab this flamingo pink. I'm just going to do one strip of that, I think. I just have, like, a piece of packing paper underneath here to um, work over. I'll put some green on the side. I'm going to do some green on the opposite side on this end. Again, there is no right or wrong. I 
and this doesn't have to be all of your color in one shot. You can play with it, manipulate it, come back, look at it, see what you want to do differently. I am going to try and keep this gold separated from the copper, I believe. This gold is really yellowy, but I don't really want it um, necessarily overlapping the copper to begin with. And I'm going to go ahead and run some strips of the micro pearl. These I'm just going to kind of overlap and intermingle and wherever they land, they land. And I'm going to go ahead and put the copper on. Now I feel like the copper might get a little heavy, so I'm going to start a little bit more sparingly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun and see what we start getting. So bear with me while it's noisy for a bit. And hopefully everything will start to flow and move and hopefully I'm somewhat in frame. I know this is a fairly large piece. If I get it so far in frame, I can't see the camera at all. So short girl problems. And I am trying to push some of it over the edge. I feel like the copper looks very, very orange on here. You can push the colors, move the colors, overlap the colors. It all depends on which direction you hold oops, the heat. I do wish this heat gun had a little more push to it. Um, I am getting a real heat gun soon. So I think that'll make my life a little bit better in the long run. But for now, this works. Making sure some of that color does drip over the sides. I'm going to go ahead and try and turn the whole piece around because I don't really want to have to reach as far over the top of that.
Let's turn. I'm not sure if this corner is not in frame, but. I'm going to try and push some of this copper right back off the side because I feel like it's a bit heavy. So I feel like I really need some more pink in spots. I feel like the copper kind of overtook the entire piece. Um, let me go ahead and put some more down here. And some more of the purple. I do have quite a bit of turquoise on this piece. I think I want to try and push some of that copper with turquoise. Um, let's see how fluid this is right now. If it's fluid at all. Not really. So I'm going to go ahead and thin it out a little bit with some more clear. I don't want it so fluid that it like runs, runs off, but I do want to try and push some more of that copper off. I also see a couple spots on this where I missed with my black paint, so the whole edge of this may get painted black again and touched up at some point or in my second coat I might use black dye and just um, touch up the whole piece so these gloves are sticky from picking that up and I don't really want to get that all over the heat gun so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off for a few minutes and back to the heat. And this is where I'm trying to work in some more of that clear. So it's going to be a little thicker this time to move. Push some of this pink into the gold. 
remove some more of this pink on this edge that I added. Held a little too long there, got a little warm. Try and push a little more of that gold right off the edge. Copper, not gold. Try and separate this section a little bit again, too. Okay, I don't have gloves on, so I can't pick that up. Um, I'm going to try and move with a stick a little bit of some of this. I got a random bit of copper. This little bit of blue. That gold. This pink and green. Um, I'm probably going to work this a little bit more. I don't like where it looks stringy, if that makes sense. I have this unmixed in pink over here. But, um, it's not exactly what I was going for, but it's not terrible. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on and just see if we got any movement now. 
Not really, so that's pretty good. Got a little bit of shift on one side. So I'm not going to have too much leakage or runoff. Um, the nice part of this piece, with it being a lazy Susan, will be... Um, it doesn't have to have one particular direction. Like, I don't have to pick how it would hang. I can be enjoyed from all angles. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the torch one more time to pop the bubbles and call this one good. I may have enough to do my small board, but I'm going to check the time and then take a better look at what's left and maybe go ahead and do that. Um, thanks for watching. If you learned something, if you didn't, I think what I learned is I probably could have skipped the copper on this piece. I feel like once it hit the epoxy, it got very orangey um, and almost made it too many colors. Um, but overall, I really think it's pretty. And this will cure overnight. It will need a... Um, top coat once I get the bottom or the sides cleaned back up whatever touch up I need to do to the piece and then it'll be ready to get its lazy susan mechanism on it and find itself its way to a new home so thanks for watching um please like and subscribe let me know if you learned anything let me know if you didn't learn anything um that's it have a great night bye